Hey, hey, hey. Does this work? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Bombshell. Hey, Tara Howell. I'm at my sister's house. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, uh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa Clement Snazzle. Hey, girl. Hey, Jen. Um, I'm at my sister's house, and so I had to improvise. Um, hi. Hi, Chris Lador. Hey, hey. Crazy Lash Lady. Lisa. Hey, babe. So I just wanted to show you guys how I have this set up real quick, because you just got to do what you have to do. Let me show you guys. See? I have the Christmas present right in front of the doorway. You just gotta use the skills to pay the bills, I suppose. Hey, girl, hey, Danny Lessengad, I'm surprised you're not at the gym, my love. Oh, okay, now I can't really see myself. Can everybody hear me okay? Can you hear me now? Am I on? Okay, so I just wanted to stop by Periscope real quick. We have to go to LA soon. Hey, it's Super Califragilis. Oh, hey, Super Califragilistic. How you doing, girl? Mandy Baston, she's in. Oh, look at I love this is my favorite part. You look fabulous. Oh, thank you, Crazy Lash Lady. We're getting ready to go to LA. What up? What up? We're going to LA. So I just wanted to stop by Periscope. I was gonna do my Periscope on the way over there, but now I have to drive. What's in LA? The family. My my family is there. We're gonna all get together. We're uh Hispanic, so um, we make tamales. Uh, remember me? I asked you about. Uh oh. What did you ask me about? This this bow on this Christmas gift. Um, I'm just gonna scoot this back a little bit because my big head doesn't fit. There we are. Love you and your aunt. Oh, oh yeah, my crazy aunt. Ooh, tamales. Hey, Kiki Lapu. Love tamales, doing the perfect lips. Oh, yes, you were in the hospital last time we talked to each other. Actually, Facebook messaged me. I, I want to touch base with you and see how you're doing, dear. Um, okay, so the first thing with Instagram, let's just get right into it. Remember, shots, shots, shots. Oh, don't don't bring up the past now. Don't, don't tell everybody the family secrets. Where am I at? I'm at my sister's house. Yes, Brill, that thanks, babe. I'll pee, yeah. Message me, girl. Um, not on my business page. Do it on my private, on my personal one. Because when you do the business page, if you don't, re if you don't respond right away, Facebook uh, takes off points from you. Anywho, I mean because of the presence. My sister's house. Remember that? Yes. Oh, I remember. I try to forget. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Let's get right to business. Four Instagram tips. Number one. Your bio. Your bio is very, very, very important. You want to use emojis in your bio. Talk about what your whole Instagram is about. So mine's kind of everywhere. Mine says educator because I love to teach. Mine says, um, what else does my Instagram say? My Instagram says dark lady because I'm a witch. Uh, hey girl, I'm going to message you. Missed your wonderful self. Okay, message me. Um, and then my um, Instagram, it also has a call to action, which is my blog. So you want to direct your followers. If you're going to use Instagram to promote yourself and start building your brand, you want to create a call to action. So if you're doing a YouTube video, make sure you put link in bio on the YouTube video. Funnel everything to the call to action, which is, it should be your blog or your website. But if you don't have that yet, Use your Facebook, use the YouTube, use whatever it is you have. Use the tools you have now, your Gmail account. Um, number two, hashtags. Make sure when you're hashtagging, you're using keywords. And keywords keywords are really tricky. I, I'm still learning about them with Google and everything. But, you know, you want to use keywords that are relevant, um, and if you're really starting, and we're, yes, words that are popular, so, and you want to have your own hashtag, I always use just Jack Makeup. Um, one that I really get a lot of followers with is uh, Boys With Makeup. Or, you know, if you hashtag, if you're gay, and you hashtag um, 
gay or gay boys or gay boy problems, mm-hmm. you're always going to get those followers. It's just, I don't even, I don't know why. It just happens that way, I guess, with the universe. Um, how many, if you don't have a lot of followers yet and you are launching your Facebook, I mean, not, not your Facebook, you're launching your Instagram, you're trying to build um, those followers, build your brand, you use as many hashtags as you want. Don't worry about what anybody else says. I know my friend says, um, so many hashtags, so little likes. Who cares what they're saying? They're not paying your bills. You put as many hashtags, as many relevant hashtags as you need to, to boost up your Instagram. Because Matthew Anderson said this, there's going to come a time when you just post and you won't need to put any hashtag because people will just uh, be there already waiting to see what you're going to post next. Um, Three, like, comment, and follow people. Like, comment, and follow. Again, remember, we're not building followers. We're building relationships. You can only use 36, I think, or 32. Okay, well, if they say 36 is the minimum, use 36. I only use 7. I like to keep mine to a minimum of 7. And mine aren't always relevant. Sometimes mine are just whatever comes to my head. Like I, when I talk about the kids, I always use Never Grow Up or like Bangarang Peter, you know, uh, Peter Pan or something. Um, like, comment, follow. This is very, very, very important, especially if you're building your brand and you're starting fresh because your posts will be lost or not seen. Okay, your posts will be lost or not seen. Um, you want to build those relationships with people. You want to go add people. You want to follow them. You want to show them, hey, I'm watching you. I like what you're posting. Keep going till you're ready to stop. Um, and the last one is use the different apps. There are so many different apps out there to use that you can use for Instagram. So one I use is Crowdfire. Tara Howe taught me about Crowdfire. In Crowdfire, you can see who's adding you, who's um, not following you anymore, and who you're following that's not following you. So pay attention to what's going on. You know, it's all about reciprocity. I'm going to give, I'm going to receive... If you're just following somebody and they're not following you back within three months, drop them. Who cares? You know, go on to somebody else. Um, Canva. Canva is a really, really good one. I use it to create Instagram posts. I use it to create Facebook posts. I use it to create my create my Facebook banners, my YouTube banner, everything. Insta followers. Is that a hashtag? Um, okay, Insta followers is an app. I suppose. I'm going to have to write that one down. Um, InstaQuote is a good one. I like using InstaQuote. And sometimes I'll cut off the little watermark. I know it's bad, but I don't want the InstaQuote watermark on there. No, an app. Okay, there you go. What is that for? To get more followers? I don't know if I want to use a, a following app. Sorry. Is the Insta followers for more followers? Would you pay for followers? Does it work? Hell no. No. Don't waste your money paying for followers. For what? Same as the other one you use. Okay. Don't waste your money paying for followers. You're, it's not about how many followers you have. It's about how many relationships you're building. How many friendships you're making. Uh, here's my thing. I'm not into followers. I don't want followers. I want friends. That's why it's so important to me to stay on top of my fr- Not on top of them, but... Stay, keep up with the Joneses, you know. Keep up with your friends. Know what they're doing. Let them know what you're doing. Build those relationships. They're very, very, very important. Um, another one is VidStitch. Um, quote, K-W-O-T-E. Hello, Nisa Don. Welcome. And then the last one I use is Skitch. S-K-I-T-C-H. So I hope these will help you. These really helped me. Um, Amber Voigt actually bought us a, a webinar from this woman who taught us a bunch of stuff from Instagram. And since, since then, my Instagram has boosted so much and you just learn as you go. Thank you. What is Skitch? Skitch is an app. It's another photo app. You can draw on stuff. Excuse me. Um, For the artists, if you're going to be in the art department and doing all that stuff, you want to do Skitch. 
um, makeup artist. I, I don't know. Just go have fun. Have fun. Play around with it. Now, I've seen a few... A few of you guys have added me on your Instagram, but you have no posts. Um, what you guys want to do is you guys want to launch. So, what I recommend is get your nine pictures ready. And you can go do this on Canva. You can have it all outlined on Canva to see how it's going to look on someone's cell phone. Um, but what you can do is you can get your nine photos before you even go add anybody. And then you can prepare for your launch once you launch your Instagram, then you put it out to all your other social media. Then you start adding the people. But you already want to have those nine pictures because the last thing you want is to add somebody and then be posting one right after another. It gets annoying. It really does. Um, I've been tr I, I, I try to post at least once a day, but you're supposed to post three times. I don't. Maybe if I start posting three times. It'll be better, but we'll see. Do we have any questions before I get off of here? We have to leave pretty soon. Anything? Questions? Comments? Nope. All right. We're good to go. Lots of love to everybody. I will see you guys. Nope. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. I will see you guys tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye. Okay. Lisa Clement Snazzle. <laughs> Thanks, boo. Still trying to upload to YouTube. Oh, my goodness. See you on the flip side. All right. Mandy, Mandy Bastin, I'll say a prayer for you and that YouTube girl. All right. Bye, everybody. Oh, there are some cute boys riding on their bikes. I got to go. Excuse okay. me. First, there was a cute mailman at this house. Now, there's some cute boys on a bike. Excuse me. Do you guys like little Latin boys with big ideas? <laughs>